Hello, Chris here from Mixdown Online. I hope you're doing good. Now, today, I want to show you the UR22MK2 recording pack from Steinberg. So I'm gonna do an unboxing of that recording pack with you. And this uh, interface was provided by Yamaha and Media Music here in Montreal. So they were very kind to lend me that uh, recording pack for me to show it to you. So let me um, tell you what's included in this pack. So basically what you get is a sound interface. It's a basic sound interface. I think there's only two inputs um, and we'll, you know, we'll check all of these later on. We have here a microphone, a condenser microphone, and a pair of headphones. So, not too expensive, and there's a lot of stuff included in this pack. And on top of the microphone and the headphones, uh, in the interface itself, we have a um, very small version of Cubase, uh, Cubase AI. We have a small version of WaveLab, and Cubase's LE for the iPad. All right, so let's start and open the box. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, so first we have the manual right here. We have a XLR cable, very useful. Um, let's see here. Okay, so this is the microphone holder. And we have a USB connector. Now this is USB 2. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Oh, look at this. Now we have our headphones. Nice, okay, I'm gonna try them out later on and let you know if they sound good or not. So they're called the STH-01 from Steinberg. They look pretty solid. Oh yeah, we have the microphone. That's pretty nice, look at that. Okay, so this is what we have for a condenser microphone. Again, I'm gonna test it out. Okay, let's put that aside for now. Now the interface looks like this. It's pretty small, very compact. Put that aside. Very compact. So we have two D pre, uh, which are uh, preamps. Okay, so the gain knobs are right here. And then we have the headphone jack with the volume right here and we have the output of the interface and then the input mix from the DAW to the input so I'm gonna test that out later on and uh, if we look at the back we have MIDI in MIDI out we have the USB connector and we have the two outputs the left and the right to connect to your speakers okay and the phantom power is right here Okay, so now what is left to do is to connect this and try it out on my laptop. Now, I just installed the drivers on my laptop, Cubase AI WaveLab LE. And there's also Cubase's LE that is included for the iPad, okay, which is very cool. Now, uh, it was easy to install, but the registration part of um, Cubase AI and WaveLab LE for the license was not too complicated, but not that user friendly. So this is probably something that needs to be updated at some point, you know, just to make it easier for a new user to install and start working right away. Now, uh, putting that aside, everything is cool. Now Cubase AI is a very nice DAW, very simple. It's a stripped down version of Cubase. Um, so you have all the main functions available within the software. So um, if we look at the card itself here, and uh, I just wanna go over a few settings here, okay? Now there's a mix knob, which is gonna go uh, from the input signal to the return signal, uh, which comes out of your DAW, okay? In this case, Cubase. So just to give you an example, um, I have here in my session, I have a music track playing. Now the knob is at the left side, okay, which is at the input, okay, so this way you hear my direct signal without any latency, okay, so this is latency free, okay, if you're monitoring directly from the card, okay, on the input side of the mix knob. If I turn my mix knob towards the, um, uh, the DAW side, 
you're going to start hearing the return of Cubase. And this is the way you balance your, your sound off. Okay, between what's coming out of Cubase and your direct signal coming into the sound interface, which in this case is the microphone. So this is in the case where you want to have a free latency. Okay, so you want to hear your uh, your direct signal out of the microphone without latency. Okay, because you could actually go and monitor everything through Cubase um, using that monitor button right here. So if you activate that and you bring your knob, your mix knob to the uh, DAW side, okay, you're going to hear yourself, but with a latency. If I want to manage the latency, I'm just going to go into device setup, select the UR22MK2 control panel and then my, now my buffer size is at 128 128 samples which is pretty low yeah, i can bring that down to 32 if i want to and uh, this way i'm going to avoid having too much of a latency so it's going to be a low latency setup if i bring that to the highest buffer size with a lot of samples this is what i get so now you're going to hear the latency okay um if I mix that, that with, with the direct, direct signal, signal, you can, can easily hear the delay. delay. Okay. okay. So, so I'm going to bring, bring that, that back, back to 128. 128. And there you go. You hear that latency again, but you know, it's, it's very, very tiny. But if you don't want to deal with latency, bring your knob towards the left side, turn that off. So this way you won't have any latency. Now, the only thing though, is you don't have any effects. Okay, uh, like the uh, UR242, which has a DSP chip, which manages all the internal effects. Now on this one, you don't have that DSP chip. Okay, so your free latency signal is gonna be dry. Okay, but there's a way you can bypass that within Cubase. I'm, I'm probably gonna show you that on another video, the way I do it, okay, to add some effects while using the uh, zero latency feature. Now, if we go back here, okay, on the card, there's the USB 2.0 feature. And there's the uh, 5VDC feature as well. So these are power sources that you can switch uh, between. Okay, so there's one where you can plug a, um, a micro USB cable, okay, and use something like this, you know, an adapter, and you plug that into the wall and you get your power out of that micro USB cable, okay? So, or you can switch to the USB 2.0 side and you feed your power off your laptop, which is very practical. Now, the reason why you have that um, 5V option for power source, it's because of Cubasis LE, which is included in this recording package, which allows you to use your iPad with this card. So you plug in your iPad with an adapter directly into the USB connector, okay, the USB input, and then you can use an external battery pack to feed your power to uh, to this card. So this is very practical and that can um, that can allow you to have a very portable studio, okay? Whatever you're on the train, on the bus, you're traveling in a hotel room, you can use your iPad with this sound interface using a battery pack. So very, very cool, okay? So this is a very nice feature of this interface. And there's also a MIDI in and MIDI out, which is, again, very, uh, very cool to have. So it is very cool that Steinberg decided to keep that on this basic interface. Now, if we go back at the front of the interface, just note that the preamps are high quality preamps and the connectors are uh, Nutrix connectors, which are very good quality connectors, okay, for XLR and line input, because on each channels, you have a XLR option and a line in option okay, for a keyboard or something. And you can switch on the phantom power in the back, which will power both channels at the same time. Now, if we talk about the microphone, okay? Now, right now I am talking into the uh, Steinberg STM-01, which is the included condenser microphone in the recording package. It is a very good uh, quality microphone, to be honest with you. And just the fact that it's included in that package is quite amazing. So hearing me speaking to this microphone will give you an idea on how, um, how that microphone sounds. And then we have the headphones, okay? Good quality headphones, to be honest with you. I was quite surprised, actually. So I actually compared them to the Sony's MDR-7506. 
Um, and these are a bit harsh and I don't know, I'm not a big fan of uh, the Sony's and I must say that the, uh, the Steinberg headphones sounds a bit better than the Sony's, okay? So um, again, it is quite cool that this high quality type of headphones is included uh, in the package. Now, if I compare them to my mixing um, headphones, okay? The Bayer Dynamic DT770. Um, now this is different, you know, this pair of headphones is my go-to headphones. They sound very good. Not in the same price range and not the same quality. Now these will sound better, but I'm gonna have to say that compared to the Sony's, these are a bit more smooth and um, yeah, and they actually cover well the ear, okay? So it helps a lot to control the bleed, which is pretty good when you're recording vocals or acoustic guitars and stuff. So uh, very good pair of headphones, very good quality microphone. This kit is perfect if you're starting out um, into the home studio recording, or if you're like me and you already have your home studio set up, but you're looking for something else that is a bit cheaper, that you can travel with, that is portable and uh, practical to work with. Now, this kit is kind of cool. And again, very small, very solid, and you can travel with this easily. You put that in your computer bag and you're good to go. So again, uh, for a guy like me, it is a good option. And for a musician who is starting up, this again is a perfect way to get into the home recording thing. All right. Now, if you want to put your hands on this recording pack, you can check the links that I'm going to leave below. Uh, you can give a call to my friends at Media Music here in Montreal. And that's even easier if you live here in Montreal, but or else they're going to ship anywhere you want. All right. So very easy to deal with. So I'm going to leave you a couple of options here in the description. All right. So this is going to be it for this review. I hope you liked it. If you did, please share and like and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. All right, so have a nice day and I'll see you next time.